What's up everybody? So today we're going to do a review of the new Star Wars film so we can go over all the little hidden secrets and everything that's contained within the movie and see if we can't figure out what the next plot for Star Wars Episode 8 is going to be. So it might be difficult for anyone who's not a complete Star Wars nerd like myself to understand. So it might be a little complicated, but here we go. So here we have the incredibly sexy Ray. Now this bitch is bad as fuck, but I guarantee you this bitch is evil. I've seen it before, I'll see it again. This bitch is fucking evil. Great fear I have in her training. Do not train this bitch as a Jedi. You'll put the whole goddamn galaxy at risk, you motherfuckers. I can tell a crazy chick when I see one, and this bitch is fucking crazy. She's gonna go bad. She's gonna go bad. Mark my fucking words. Now, I sense some kind of connection between Rey and Emperor Palpatine. Like, there's a couple different things that kind of make it like there could be some kind of connection between them, whether it's uh, his daughter or a clone or something like that. Um, there's a connection there. Now, if you look at their fighting styles and how similar they are, uh, the Sith use a kind of lunge attack where they, they have a straight stab with their lightsaber. It's That's uh, like the... Uh, fifth form of lightsaber combat that they use. Now let's take a close look at Rey and her fighting style. Now, now this shit was bad as fuck right here, man. When he went for the force to grab the lightsaber and she pulled it from him because her force was fucking stronger. That shit was bad as fuck. Oh yeah, dude, she's totally gonna fucking go evil. I can I sense the dark side in this bitch. See, she keeps lunging like that, those lunge attacks, you know? And it's like, you got uh, the reason I think she has something to do with Palpatine, I mean, this is the first time she's ever uh, used a lightsaber, and look how she wields that powerful weapon. She's kicking fucking the shit out of Kylo Ren over there. Kylo Ren's kind of a fucking bitch. But we'll talk about that shit later, because right now I do sense a connection between Rey and Emperor Palpatine. Although this is just a theory of mine, we do have a special guest tonight, all the way from the nether voids of the Force. Please welcome Emperor Palpatine. Hello, hello everybody, thank you. Now Palpatine, let me ask you, is there any chance that you could have a daughter? Because as everyone knows, the Jedi are not allowed to have children, they're not allowed to get married or anything. But what about the Sith? Can the Sith hook up with anybody? Let me explain something to you, boy. I am more powerful than any Jedi could ever dream of. And unlike the Jedi, the Sith love to get down. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, the ladies love me. They love their Papa Palpatine. Let me ask you, what are your thoughts on Kylo Ren? My master was named Doth Plagueis the Wise, and he in turn named me Darth Sidious the Sexy. And w wait, what? He called you Darth Sidious the Sexy? Yes, of course he did. Just, um, don't, don't ask him about it be because he'll lie. You know the Sith are not to be trusted. Kylo Ren, on the other hand, is a bitch. He, he's a glorified stormtrooper at best. Now let me ask you about, uh, Darth Plagueis. There's a rumor going around that he could in fact be Supreme Leader Stokes. What are your thoughts on that? Supreme Leader Stokes can kiss my wrinkly white ass. He is uh, nothing more than a, a, a leader of a faction of my galactic empire. Big deal. So he's the leader of a bunch of Tea Party stormtroopers who broke off from the rest of us. He thinks he's the fucking shit now. Did you ever wonder how he got that scar on his hideous face? That's from when I bitch slapped him with a lightning bolt. Fuck Stopes. Oh, sorry to cut you off, Emperor Palpatine, but um, I am getting informed by, by my producer right now that we are about to go live in 30 seconds. So uh, we're not going to be able to cuss or say any swear words or anything uh, of that nature. Because every time we do, I, I, I get a $2,500 fine. So, oh no, that's not a problem. I, I used to be poor one time too, huh? Oh, oh. Okay, anyway. All right, so yeah, we're going we're we're going live right now. 3 2 And we're back. We're sitting down with Emperor Palpatine. Emperor, let me ask you something. What are your thoughts on Kylo Ren's lightsaber and that design? Would would, would, would you ever do something like that? Well, when it comes to Kylo Ren's lightsaber, the only thing I can say is 
motherfucker and the pussy. Gotta go, bitch. Ah! <sighs> All right, well, back to the review. So up next, we're going to be discussing Finn. Who the fuck is Finn? Where the fuck did he come from? Well, one thing that's important you have to remember when it comes to the Star Wars universe is that it, it is the Star Wars universe that it's um, everything's it's all connected. You know, it's this whole little world connected together. So everything that that's going to be in the next uh, couple parts, part nine or episode eight and nine, um, it's going to have relations to all. Uh, the first six episodes so as you can see all the connections that are already with this one and uh the last six episodes is that you know there's still there's characters still like han solo's in it and chewbacca and you know there's still relations from the uh, the old cast or whatever so it's all it's going to be connected that's what's important to remember and so and since these don't aren't supposed to be based off the books we can look back at the first six episodes to gather our information to say who Finn is or who the fuck he could be. One thing I like to point out is the fact that Finn is apparently only one of three black men in the future. So what does that mean? That means that he's either going to have relationships with either Mace Windu, who is of course a Jedi and is not allowed to have kids or have a relationship. So if I had to put money on it, I'd say that he's got some kind of relationship with Lando Calrissian, the most famous narc in all the galaxy. Hey guys, Vader lied to me too. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm just saying, I mean, how could you not talk about fucking Lando Calrissian? I mean, the dude was a fucking cloud pimp. Come on, give me a break. He was cool as hell. He fucking narked his boys out, so he was a fucking bitch. But still, <laughs> you know, he, he was a pimp up until he became a bitch. You know, but then he, he switched back to being a pimp again. You know, we tried to rescue everybody. So I would like to see that. And I think that this is probably the perfect way for them to say, oh, yeah, you know, th his name is Finn, uh, Finian Calrissian. <laughs> you know, so that's, that, that's what's going to happen. Something like that. I, I, I hope. All right. So right now we're going to talk about this little motherfucker right here. Kylo Ren. This fucking chump. There is no way he is a Sith there's just no fucking way besides the fact that he's not even called Darth he's called Kylo Ren I mean and you could have what a pussy is fucking pussy ass name even lets you ever know that he's a fucking puss but they so he doesn't even have the title of Darth so they didn't give him to that so he's not he's not a, a Sith yet uh maybe one day he he might be but I fucking seriously doubt it because he too much of a fucking chump. I mean, just look at his lightsaber. Okay, you see how it's all crackly and like flashing, like breaking apart like that? That's because it's all weak and feeble, like its maker, all right? <laughs> he fucking, he's all fucking so pathetic in the force that he makes even a shitty fucking lightsaber. You see, you see how the two handles are coming out? That wasn't on purpose. That was a fucking accident. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing. You see? Okay, this dude is a fucking moron, and he's the least intimidating bad guy in any fucking movie. Terrible, terrible idea. He's a puss, and he's gonna he's gonna turn good. I can tell you this: he does not want to go to the dark side. He wants to be fucking good. He's he's gonna flip fucking scripts and become a Jedi. I guarantee you. And Rey, she's gonna do the exact opposite. You're gonna think she's like uh, a Jedi now. She hasn't had a taste of the fucking power, but when she does, she's gonna then flip. It's gonna be an endless cycle of fucking flipping back and forth. And that's just, that's it. That's the balance of the force. These guys are fuck. But when it comes to Kylo Ren, I mean, just look at him. He looks like a chump. He doesn't look scary. He looks cold, okay? I mean, when's the last time you were afraid of someone dying from hypothermia? I mean, look at this guy. Give him 10 minutes. He'll fucking freeze to death out there. I'll tell you what he looks like. He looks like Keanu Reeves and Loki from the Avengers uh, had a retarded gay son named Kylo Ren. That's what he fucking looks like. The entire Star Wars universe, there is one guy who could answer all of these questions. Well, guess who we got on the show tonight? That's right. Give it up for Luke Skywalker. Luke, can you hear me? Luke, you there? Yes, hello, this is Luke Skywalker. Thanks for having me on your program. Emperor Palpatine? No, no, no. this is Luke Skywalker. 
Why would you call me that incredibly sexy man, Emperor Palpatine? That guy sucks. Everyone knows how much I hate him. My God, he pisses me off. He gets all the money, all the women. Everyone in the galaxy loves the Emperor. Ha, 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 ha. Did you know they even call him Darth Sidious the Sexy? Come on. Of course I player hate that guy. I've been player hating him for years. No, trust me. I am definitely, definitely that old, gray, ugly little fuck Luke Sky Pansy. You mean Skywalker? Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm a little tired, you know. I was out beating women earlier today, so, you know, I'm kind of out of breath. All right, Palpatine, you can drop the charade. We, we know it's you, all right? What are you, what are you crazy? It's not him. Uh, this is Luke Skywalker. I, what are you talking about? Well, all right, Palpatine, all right, calm, calm down. We know who you are, okay? Trust me, we can tell. Let me ask you something. Is Kylo Ren considered an actual Sith? Well, if I were the Emperor, which I am not, I would definitely tell you no. He is not a fucking Sith. He's a piece of shit, little glorified stormtrooper. God damn it, this guy's fucking pissing me off. The Force is weak with him. But since I have a feeling you're going to cut me off before I get done answering you, just let me say this. Fucker in the pussy. Gotta go, bitch. Ah!